Okay, okay, okay. You is on one pack. We got Jamari, my boy. We got Star. Try to expose him. Ends up ruining her own life. Now, we all know what's been going on in the Kai Sinat situation. I'm going to let Jamari explain it. You feel me? I'm going to let Jamari explain it. But it's been a crazy 48 hours for Sinat, bro. It's been a crazy one. So, there was a situation yesterday where streamer Kai Sinat was basically being held ransom. Virtually, mm. that is, by an OF girl slash corn star named Layla Red. These two apparently had a relationship at some point last year after he met her during a stream. Hey, where you at? You ain't here with me? I'm in the A2. Ooh, not with me though. I know, that's why, that's why we here. I'm gonna follow on you. Say on God. And I guess things eventually got deeper for them. And now she is using their time together to try and publicly extort one of the biggest streamers right now. Bro, but she's the so audacity. It's the sheer audacity. She, and now I'm gonna let Jamari keep going. So <laughs> dumb Bruh. that she didn't use the blackmail against him correctly. She skipped way too many steps and went right to trying to expose him to the public. Not to even mention this man made her sign an NDA, so a lot of what she has done is illegal. She's saying things like Kai owes her hush money and that he allegedly even paid for her to sleep with him. Well, I mean, since I'm going to court, I might as well leak the the addy the videos but you gotta hit that link in my bio video coming soon this bro bro you you are making it worse for yourself bro like you are making it do you get you are making it ridiculously worse for yourself by doing all that i don't know if this girl does not understand that he has receipts he has the court document the nda she signed her signature he has audio recordings he has money and time and lawyers. Brother, just apologize, bro. There's no need to drag this joint out. This woman reminds me a lot of that other corn star that tried to expose Zion Williamson last year and went on that ridiculous Twitter tirade where she made herself look absolutely horrible in the process, all in an attempt to expose Zion. That bitch was out here tagging the NBA and Adam Silver and shit, talking about she did a tornado trick on his eggplant, and look at my boy Zion now, balling out once again. Now when it comes to Kai... He did the best thing possible and immediately responded to these allegations and it turned into a pretty great reverse uno moment. So this was the initial post that I saw about this situation. She came forward with this via Twitter where I guess she was pretty much trying- Bro, Kai, Kai, Kai. Yo, what is this, bro? I'm not trying to be rude or nothing, but like... <laughs> bro, look at her. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Even if you didn't pay, bro. You can't be... Bro, come on, bro. Come on, bro. You got way better girls, way more beautiful girls on your D. Begging. And you out here messing with this. And now this is blackmailing you. Oh, my God, Kai. This up, this. Forget the fact that you're winning this. Therefore, she's going to court, you're going to sue her, you're going to win. Forget that entire situation, that entire fact. This is not the standard you should have for yourself, bro. You shouldn't be messing with this kind of people, bro. Come on, bro. You you are in guys or not, bro. Trying oh. to promote her OF page like we saw Juice World's ex-girlfriend do recently. I'm Ali does OF? I mean, y'all know these OF girls are absolutely shameless. They'll do anything to get that dollar. And obviously, I'm not going to show you these pictures because they're actually revenge corn, obviously. Yeah, she yeah, says, I heard about video that. of me and Kai Sinat, link in bio. It was so good, too. And let's be honest, guys. If you see your favorite streamer or rapper or some sort of entertainer famous person got their tape exposed on the timeline. If your first thought is to run and go watch it, to run and go pay for it, you need to seek some sort of psychiatric help. <laughs> she also says when Kai know what to do when you come around. And this is where this $5,000 Apple payments allegation comes. She doesn't even look worth that money. I, she could have said, hey, he paid me two bands. And I'll be like, eh, 
Okay, for five thousand dollars twice, Missy. You seen you, yeah? Oh, sorry. from where she claims he was paying for the goodies. Now this is Kai's initial response. He would go on to absolutely flame her throughout the day. Here he's showing his Apple payment history. She saved as Layla Red in my phone. On God, you're saved as Layla Red in my phone. Kiara Rush, I'm on you now. Kiara Rush, we don't we call you KR now. All right? Go to November. Stop. Stop. So as you guys can see, they're in the Apple Pay history. Layla Red for $50, okay? And I guess he's basically trying to say here, no, I did not pay to smash some old retired corn star turned Bro, away. bro, bro, I, I didn't even know who she was until this entire madness. And I'm looking at it, and I'm looking at the picture, and I'm like, nah, come on, bro, like, nah. At least when Drake did it, it was a body. When Drizzy messed around with a corn star, bro, it was a body. I, I shouldn't have messed around this guy of people. He shouldn't. I mean, I'm glad he admitted it that, hey, yo, swear, I'm not going to be doing it no more. But you shouldn't have been from the start, from the get-go. You already got yourself in a fix. And you already got yourself in an initial situation. 2022. 2022, 2021, with the entire party thing and the girl and that entire situation, that should have clocked to your head that you shouldn't be messing around with these kinds of people. With washed up woman, all I paid for was the trip home. Lay the f***ing red, fifty dollars for your f***ing dumb ass Uber. Bitch. I got your f***ing Uber. Bitch. Fifty dollars. What you talk about? So obviously Kai was beyond outraged in this situation mm -hmm. and he's really like trying he to go the extra mile here to not only clear his name but to also expose this corn star. And yeah. I guess this was her response to him saying When the biggest streamer in the world pay you for and lie to hide the truth, bruh, bring your receipts. You know, you, you, you can't just come on Twitter and, and say stuff and you expect us to believe you. Kai showed his receipts. <laughs> he didn't just show receipts. He showed receipts, audio recordings, NDAs. Bruh, he brought the whole shebang. And you're coming here with our sentence. What should we do with that sentence? Pull up your receipts. No, not not something you can Photoshop. Nah, 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 mama. Pull up some receipts. You said he sent it through you through the Apple wallet. Bet square no wahala. He pulled out his wallet receipts and you weren't there. All he sent was fifty dollars, bro. He's dragging your name through goddamn muds of. He's dragging you through the mud, and all you can say is a sentence. That's how you know he's a liar. She can't defend it. She didn't know he would retaliate like this that all he paid for was the uber which she says when the biggest streamer in the world pay for p and lie to hide the truth lol she would then go on to share this message grown men pay for p and listen guys i know they say all the time to not judge a book by its cover but uh, if i judge this one bro this is this one is washed we can learn anything from the last couple videos i've made it's that sometimes you have to use your brain you can just literally sometimes see a woman or see a man and know what they're all about yeah, now here's where exactly. she continues to post this photo of Kaisa not nude. Trying to see me after buying this wild LOL. You're going to jail to clown you. Clown, you breached the contract and so did I. Guess your Guess your be in the cell right next to Bruh, you are <laughs> she's in she's bed. It looks like she took this picture while this man was sleeping. And he basically has his junk out. And yes, this would qualify as revenge corn. Yeah. He says, trying to sue me after buying p is wild. LOL, you go into jail too, clown. You breached the contract, and so did I. Guess how did you? How did he breach the contract? <laughs> like, he, bro, you know what is pissing me off? He showed how she breached the contract. You feel me? No, I'm not. I'm not taking sides. I, I love KC. 
But uh, in a situation like this, you gotta sit down and hear both sides out. And I've heard both sides out. She has no evidence to back up every claim she makes. She just be making claims at this point. You feel me? She's just, she's just making claims at this point. Grown man pay for da da da. Where's your evidence? You showed your evidence. He countered it. Cancelled your evidence. He breached the contract. Where's your evidence? Pull up the evidence. He said what you did was revenge corn. He showed the evidence by telling you what that is, which is exactly what you did. She, everything you get, bro. He don't need your money, but he's gonna teach you a lesson. It's your bitch ass a be in a cell right next to me. And she would even take to TikTok to drop this video response to Kai. Everybody keep asking me about all the dates, all the dates. See, he's not showing y'all shit from this year. I showed y'all last year and this year. He's just showing y'all last year and he's showing from another iCloud. See, that's how dumb people is. It's a whole nother iCloud, shorty. I'm showing proof from our most recent leak up. Which was three weeks ago. Now, to be fair to her, do I think that someone with as much money clout and status as kai sanat would only have one phone that he's doing apple pay on absolutely not mm -hmm. where he paid me to delete anything that i had on him which was the agreement and i was cool with that wait so did he pay you to delete information about him or did, or did he, he pay, pay you, you to, to sleep, sleep with him, him? because on, you're alleging bro. come on bro two different things right now your story really is not adding up you gotta understand like i'm in the industry everything i get is insurance period point blank i don't know y'all i don't give a fuck, and i'm gonna always protect myself at the end of the day so yes i did collect insurance you damn right just like he did when he recorded my voice and the insurance she's talking about is all these different materials that she had to expose him like that picture of him laying naked asleep in bed. I mean, when it comes to Kai, he was just an absolute idiot for messing around with someone like this. Fox. Like the saying is very true. You lay down with dogs and you're likely going to get fleas. To act like you did. It all come, I'm, I, I, I blame her. She's a bop for real. But at the end of the day, Kai, Kai should not have a mess of her. Come on, bro. You get to a certain status in life, you start to watch the way you move. Well, you're not a kid anymore, so not. You're not a kid anymore. You don't hide your time in the sun. You feel me? Like, you, you, you've messed with the baddest people on the planet. But you're not a kid anymore. And you should start moving more carefully. Because things like this is going to pull up. This is why people like KSI got a girlfriend. You tell me KSI can't get anybody he wants. Bro is a billionaire. And he's been rich longer than you have. But you do not see this kind of a situation. Nah. He has one person he trusts. Now, I'm not saying Kai should get in a relationship. He already stated his reasons why he doesn't want to be in a relationship. But if you keep messing with people like this... Sorry. It's pain. Eventually, one of them is going to stick. And one of them is going to bite you. So, and I pray... I pray... You come out the other end. Hey, bitch, now you got me... Up and now I gotta f expose you. So basically what this woman is saying is that she wants to be viewed as a hooker. She wants to be viewed as someone who is down for the pay for play. I, I mean, don't she, think that's the flex that she- I mean, she does OF. What do you expect? He thinks it is. I am about to post the transaction ID for the payment that you just recently made to me. I mean, does anyone really care if Kai went out and was tricking on this chick? Absolutely not. Entertainers, athletes, people of status, they're doing this stuff every single day to all kinds of women. Normal women, industry women, corn stars. I mean, for these type of chicks, I have to believe that's kind of like their whole game. Stop acting like you don't know why I'm doing this right now. Everything was cool until you didn't want to pay me my money, my hush money. And that's when it became a problem. Bro, you the, the mere fact you're calling it a hush money implicates you for blackmail. made this a problem i can't lie to you guys this has to be one of the dumbest individuals that we've ever seen on my channel oh. like she's trying to expose him but the whole time she's just exposing herself oh. and her potential mini crimes thank you for giving yourself another charge dumb <laughs> <laughs> 
She even went out of her way to leak this man's number. All right, here's the screen record for you guys. Up, down, message. Oop. Didn't have to lie. Your best friend will have to sign to or you, or you just come in just to you. I'm allergic to dogs, by the way. $5,000. I'm ready for my other half. And I thought you said my friend was gone signed. She said she ain't signed nothing. And this clip right here would actually result in her getting banned from Instagram, which I'm sure like all the other OF girls, when it comes to promoting her page, you know, OF and Instagram go together like bread and butter. That's where they lure in all the simps. If I just would've got my money, I would've shut up. Well, you're definitely not going to get your money now, chick. As a matter of fact, I think you're going to be sending portions of your paycheck to Kai Sanat for quite some time. And honestly, crashing out over like 5,000 bucks is definitely not f***ing worth it. Now, this is where Kai Sanat really becomes a savage in this situation. He took a page out of 50 Cent's book, and he's being extra petty with the people trying to play with his name. So, Layla, I have bought your domain. Now, you might ask, what does that mean, Kai? It means every time somebody types in Piera Rush, anytime somebody types in Layla Red, the first website that they will click on is all the lies you've told me, all the crimes you've done, mm. all the dumb shit you just put yourself in to f up your life. Mm. No, no, your OF link won't pop up first. <laughs> no, 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 or anything like that won't pop up first. Oh, no, 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 no. The top link will be Piera Rush, okay? Showing everything that you've done. So obviously the man is playing chess while this woman is out here not even playing checkers, okay? This bitch is playing like tic-tac-toe. And you know, all this, all this hot, this embarrassment for $5,000 when you make that, what, in a week, in a month? All this madness, all this, you just destroyed your career, destroyed your name, ran yourself through the mud for 5K. And I know she wouldn't have stopped there. She would have kept on asking for hush money if he had if he had gone through with it. That's blackmail for you. You made your bed. Now lie in it. This is what you see when you go to these websites that Kai Sinat set up. Kiara Rush dot com. <gasps> oh my god! <laughs> we got you, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Every single clip for anybody who messes up. Oh, wait, I don't know Kiara's real name. Hold on, we don't know it. <laughs> oh, no. <gasps> no matter what, for the rest of your life. Nah, this boy is a demon. <laughs> this boy is a demon. Bro. This will be here. I mean, mm -hmm. I won't lie to you guys, that is a pretty damn good power play right there. And apparently Kai was even out here smoking on that Layla Red Pack dancing around. I don't know, this whole shit is hilarious. I mean, she really thought she was gonna make him look bad. And she really kind of just turned this into a W for him. And then she has the audacity to try and allege some very serious allegations against him, even if it's a little bit tongue-in-cheek here. Oh, we taking people to court? Well, she is. I'm ready to take you to court, little P. Diddy Jr. You talking about you trying to stay girl, girl, you're going to cop a defamation charge if you keep talking. Just don't you have friends, bro? Keep quiet for Christ's sake. Be quiet. You're going to cop yourself a defamation charge. Tell me to one of your homies and all that shit. Don't forget about it. I got all that in the teeth. So she's calling him P. Diddy Jr., insinuating that he is a trafficker because he went to one of his boys and told people what she's all about. I mean, clearly she prides herself on being pay for play, but now she wants to act like it's some sort of Diddy situation when it's convenient for her. That doesn't really make a lot of sense. Come on now, y'all. Of course he was gonna come back with a story saying he gonna sue me. How else was he gonna look good to the vlogs? I mean, you like a certified trick right now. Bro, Kai, you shouldn't have been messing with Look at, look at, look at, look at her, bro. Look at her, bro. Oh my God, bro. You shouldn't have been, you shouldn't have been messing with this girl, bro. Look at her. For Christ's sake, bro. Come on, bro. And you're what, a certified hooker and proud of it? 
truly do not understand how an individual can be this low IQ. I mean, just look at the face there. It's not screaming Harvard graduate. But I want to know what you guys think about this situation down below. Just based on the way the two of them are talking. I think that Kai really does have the checkmate here if he really wants it. And I think he is going to exercise his option to be as petty as possible for a very long time against this woman. Like at the end of the day, we know that people who have excess amounts of money and excess amounts of fame are likely paying for women to be with them in one way or another. Even if it's not like a physical money payment thing, it might be a status thing. It might be a Birkin bag thing. I'm just saying this type of situation is not rare at all. But y'all let me know what you guys think about all of this down below. As always, also want to thank you guys for watching today's video, dropping a like and subscribing. But as you guys know, it's been your boy, The Tans. Yo, go up to Jamari, man. I love this man, bro. He be, he be bringing it premium, man. I was like, I was going to check out Kai's video on his YouTube, but I was like, nah, let me chill for Jamari, bro. Jamari got me. Jamari got me for real. Jamari got me. But look. Just them we talk about the situation. This is a messy one and I hope she gets what's coming to.